Homebrew is a massive part of the legacy of Dungeons and Dragons. Whether you use it at your table or not, the fact of the matter is that it is a huge part of why the game has had the incredible history and long lifespan that it has. The thing is though, that not everybody is equally good at this task, and I include myself in this definition. I absolutely lack the creative faculties to create some fun and interesting and nuanced homebrew that, that would actually be enjoyable to use at a table. But that doesn't mean that I don't like to have some fun with it. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of the worst rated ninth level homebrew spells on D&D Beyond because it just feels like this is where all the chaos lives. And I know that I did a very similar video to this a couple of months ago, but it was so much fun and I've been really wanting to revisit it since then. So I hope you guys enjoy this as much as, much as I do. So uh, let's just get on with it. Really quickly, I am trying to hit a goal of 10,000 subscribers by the time that the revised 2024 Player's Handbook comes out in September, so if you'd like to help me reach that goal, a sub to the channel would really mean a lot. Also, a huge thank you to all my members. All of your continued support really goes a long way, and I sincerely appreciate it, so thank you guys. All right, so we're going to start off with Zone of Minds right at the top. This looks like it sounds like it could be pretty fun. Uh, it's a one-action casting time spell. Uh, it's got a range of 60 feet, and it creates a 15-foot sphere. Verbal somatic components, the duration is 10 minutes, and it has a charisma save with a petrified effect. Uh, you create a magical area that, when a creature enters it, must make a charisma saving throw. If it fails, it takes 666 D100 fire damage. We're off to a great start. 666 D100 fire damage, and 737 D20 bludgeoning damage. The target will be launched 100 feet into the air, and when it blows, it'll take 3d20 bludgeoning damage. I feel like this is unnecessary. I feel like we're slightly into the win more territory. I'm pretty sure they're dead after the, <laughs> the hundreds of damage that they've already sustained. Anyway, uh, every time it takes damage after that, I don't think we have to worry about that. Uh, after the falling, the creature gets launched an additional 300 feet high, and when it falls, it will make a 30-foot wide crater in the earth, including rock. If the creature is not already dead, it dies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the creature's going to be already dead. This seems like a pretty fair and balanced ninth level spell. Now hear me out. You could Meteor Swarm for, like, what is it, 40 D6 total damage, or... We can do 666 D100 fire damage and, and 737 D20 bludgeoning damage. I, I don't know. It uh, seems pretty reasonable to me. Uh, <laughs> it is also available to paladins, so, you know, with their famous ninth level spell slots. This is great. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Next one we got... Okay, so we got... <laughs> I don't know if there's any of this. We got a trifecta of ZZZZZ. We got a trifecta of sleeping spells. So uh, let's start off with the first one. It's an enchantment school. Uh, cast time, one action, 60 foot range, verbal somatic components, uh, lasts until it's dispelled, and no attacker save. Uh, the target <laughs> instantly falls unconscious. Okay. It <laughs> doesn't quite feel like it's worth the ninth level spell. It's like worse hypnotic pattern. There's no save though, I guess that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> if your choice is between zone of minds or this, I don't know. Feels like it needs a choice. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at the second one. We're in the conjuration now, apparently. Uh, one action, <laughs> unlimited range. This makes me so happy. Every time I see it, I love unlimited range spells. Uh, verbal components, instantaneous effect. We got fancy fonts here this time. All right. Uh, the world ends <laughs> in a temporal chaos. Campaign ends. What's the, what's the point? Like, what? Like, <laughs> is this like you use this as your last, last ditch effort kind of thing? But at that point, like, if you're in like a last ditch kind of situation against the BBEG, Odds are you don't have your ninth level spell left, so like, what's the point of this? Or is it like for the BBG? Is this their spell? In which case, I don't know. That feels pretty bad as like a, a DM to like just th throw this at your players. Like, oh, by the way, and then like, what's their master plan? You know, they're creating this spell and they have got written down in their notebook and they just write Z Z Z a bunch of times. <laughs> I love it. Okay, uh, evocation. This this can't miss. This is gonna be great. All right, uh, uh, 50, <laughs> casting times 1500 action. One foot, right? There's so many questions already. Uh, somatic and material components. Let's check out the material. Uh, you need the second to last ember, which the spell, I don't really know what that means. Let's read the spell. Uh, lasts for an hour. No attacker save. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is the final homebrew spell. That feels very self-aware. Uh, this is the final homebrew spell that will ever be cast. 
Uh, it creates the final fire, which deals 1d100 times 100 damage to those who touch it. If the spell, recu I guess, reduces? Uh, reduces a creature to zero hit points. It, I mean, yeah, it would die, and it enters the fire. Uh, when the spell ends, the world ends. What's with ending the world in these spells? I don't get it. This feels completely unnecessary to exist. Like, I, I feel like... I don't, I don't think there's a need for the spell like this to, to be in the game. Um, yeah, I mean, a buff, I think it's... <laughs> I think a buff is a pretty accurate description for the spell. Uh, oh, it's also a debuff. Sick. Uh, and a banishment. It's not, it's not doing so much banishing as it is, like, instantly vaporizing. <laughs> you know, okay. All right, what else we got? What sounds fun? A blaze. This sounds fun. One action, range of touch, deck save, until dispelled. Uh, the ability to set an item ablaze without harming the wielder or the object. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is like a cantrip effect. <laughs> I mean, like, let's just revisit some of our other spells where we can end the world we can end the world uh, we can make someone go a little sleepy time or we can do like a billion damage or what is it? we can just put a little fire I, <laughs> this is completely like <laughs> ninth level spell uh, this, is, this is the value this is the value this is where it's at Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's go to the next one. It's like an air NATO. That sounds. That sounds like uh, what is it? Shark NATO. So I'm totally on board. Let's let's take a look. Uh, casting time is 15 actions. It's also it's also a ritual. Cool. Unlimited range. Now we're cooking with gas. Uh, verbal somatic material components. Duration special two rounds. I don't know what this means. Uh, choose your trend. Choose. <laughs> I can't read. Create a tornado of. A, I'm gonna leave this in. Create create a tornado of air to blow all enemies away. Okay. I have a lot of questions. Given that this is unlimited range, are the enemies now just like the weather system in this world? Can you just like choose some random location to completely the opposite end of the planet and just have the enemies just like cycling around the world? Like this is the new El Nino. It's going to cause some crazy wind in a few years. Like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> like what is going on? This is, um, this is quite the spell. Again, I don't know what the purpose of it really is. I mean, I guess you could really ruin a lot of people's day and never have to fight anything ever again. All right, let's move on to uh, Altex Power. Sure, let's let's take a look. Uh, <laughs> done ten actions, forty-five feet. It's an odd range. Uh, material component. I like that. Two pieces of iron. Okay, <laughs> seems doesn't seem really worthy of mentioning. I'm a ninth level spell. Uh, last until it's dispelled. No tiger save. Cool. Uh, a horde of flying minions within your range appear from the dimension known as what? From the dimension known as Altec, and attack four to six enemies of your choice. Like, how do you choose? Yeah, okay, I mean, like six. Okay, uh, they swarm. They swarm up and rip the flesh of your enemies as it deals five d six or kills them all together. Like, if these are the choices, who's picking five d six? I'm gonna kill them all together. Files of 5d6. This is like worse than a fireball. <laughs> Ninth level. I don't understand. I'll pick kills them all together. That seems much, that seems like a better choice. <laughs> Altrix, is that the same thing? Altec, Altec, Altrix, Altrix Wraith. Okay, not the same thing. Okay, right. uh, cast time one action in a range of sight with it, it creates a 200 foot sphere. Okay, let's go. Uh, somatic only and last until the spell, there's a con save. All right, uh, casting forth the full wraith of a prime deity, Altric, or her, war or her warlocks, bring the full breadth of her rage and bloodlust down upon the very soul, the very soul of the target. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. What does it do? I have so many questions. Why is there a con save? What's the sphere? What's any of this for? <laughs> Zen, who's all, do we have a stat block? Like, there's no stat block. If I go to the details page, is there a stat block? There's no stat block. There's no con <laughs> I don't understand what any of this is. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm sufficiently underwhelmed by Ultrix Wraith. Let's move on. Anti-life blast. This can't miss. This sounds great. 
Uh, cast an item, so we got a bonus action spell. Great. 100 foot range with 100 foot line, verbal only, radiant damage, range attack, instantaneous effect. Uh, a portal leading to a realm of pure energy appears where you will it. The energy bursts out of the portal in a concentrated beam that deals massive damage. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's, there's the problem with the, the, this definition of massive damage. We have, like, run the gamut. Like, I'm not entirely confident I know what massive damage is anymore. We have a Kansei for mysteriously nothing. We have Ernado, which just blows things away. We have, what is it, uh, the other one here, Altex Power. This is 5d6, or kills anything altogether. And then there's the Mines one, which is like a billion damage. Like, <laughs> what, is, what does massive damage mean? I <laughs> need a lot more clarification. Also, there's no attack roll. It just deals, it just deals massive damage. It's great. Absolutely fair and balanced. I <laughs> see no problems with this whatsoever. Uh, armor health? This sounds fun. Let's just say you look at armor health. Okay. Casting down one action could be a ritual, verbal somatic material component. Let's check it out. Uh, one shield and one supreme healing potion. Okay. Duration 24 hours requires concentration. All right, no attack or save. Uh, when you use the spell, you gain armor equal to your health, and you drop down to one hit point. I just, okay. I don't really understand, like, gain armor equal to, I don't really know what that means. I guess, like, you're, you you gain armor class, like, you gain AC equal to your to your total hit points, which is, that feels like massive overkill. Like, you're, and you're gonna have at least 100, 150, like, 150 closing in on 200, even if you're, like, a wizard at this point. Like, I don't understand. So you, so you gain an insane AC as long as you maintain concentration, but you're never gonna take damage. I mean, I guess from spells. I don't really get, I don't get it. I don't get, this feels like complete, like at some point there's diminishing returns on your arm class. Like whether you have 150 or, you know, 100 or 50, you're not getting hit. Like, I don't know. All right, uh, let's move on. This looks fun. What is Awaken, Thunderclap, and what does this actually say? Awaken, Thunderclap, and Flash. All right, let's take a look. Uh, cast time is one, no action. Okay. Range of touch, lightning effect. Uh, cool. Um, the awoken form of a regular thunderclap and flash more mastered. <laughs> it does nothing. <laughs> this is, this is, okay, here's the thing about this. Like, this, okay, I, I figured out. Uh, awoken thunderclap and flash, this is just the ultimate flex. This is like how, you, when you just want to have like the ultimate dominance play on Vecna, like you could thaumaturgy to make some crazy loud sound, or you could burn your ninth level spell slot to cast Awoken Thunderclap and Flash. And if that's not the ultimate power move, like I don't even know what it is. This is clearly what the, what the design intent of this spell is. Absolutely, we figured it out. This is just, just strictly worse. Thaumaturgy, but you get so many flare points for this. Like 10 on 10 design. Absolutely love it. Black Melvin Inferno. Let's take a look. Cast in time, one action, 120 foot range, 30 foot sphere, verbal components, instantaneous effect. Uh, a spell that traps each creature in a 30 foot radius sphere centered on a point in an inescapable black sphere and engulfs them <clears throat> in searing white light, causing each creature to die instantly. Okay, so this is just an instant kill effect for. <laughs> Anything within a are they in the same sphere? Like is this like a, a is it like a Pokeball? Like does everything within 120 feet go into like the same sphere and then they like <laughs> battle it out like Thunderdome? Or is this just like a do they each get their own little Pokeballs and then just die? And they're just kind of more sad. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it's really good. There's no save. Is there a save? No, there's no save. There's no attack. They just are. <laughs> absolutely fair and balanced all right let's do one okay this is one more we'll finish it out but uh, create superior undead uh all right uh one minute cast time 10 foot range for somatic material components oh geez a five thousand gold black sapphire okay uh you can only cast a spell at night okay so it's kind of like create undead uh choose a corpse of choose a corpse of medium humanoid within range is it oh, fun is it? Uh, create Undead. I feel like Create Undead is like three, or like up to three. We'll check it in a second. Choose a corpse of, uh, within Undead. Each corpse becomes a ghast under your control, but you can only do one. Okay. 
when you cast the spell, you must roll a DC 20 Constitution saving throw, taking 20d8 necrotic damage on a failure or half. Why? Or half on a success. So far, this is just worse create undead. But it has like a massive downside. Does it get better? As a bonus action on each of your turns, you can mentally command any creature you uh, animated with the spell within a creature within 120 feet. I'm pretty sure this is the same. Uh, you decide what action the creature will take and where it will move during the rest of its turn. You can issue a general command such, uh, such as to guard a particular chamber or corridor. If you issue no commands, the creature only defends itself against hostile creatures. Once given an order, the creature continues to follow it, blah, 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 blah. The creature, okay. Okay, <laughs> I, feel like was, I feel like so far, this is just worse create undead. I, I, okay, let's take a look. What is, how does this actually, uh, I'm talking about this one hand, it's not fun. Uh, creates uh, undead, all right, cool. Let's take, let's take a look at how this spell actually, like, I feel like it's the same. All right, so six level spell, one minute to cast, sure, 10 feet. What's their material component on this? It's got to be way less, right? It's 150 Black Onyx. Okay, cool. Uh, choose, yeah, so choose up to three. And, okay, each one can be... So, so it is already just worse because it's one instead of three. And you can upcast this and you can get... At ninth level, okay, so at ninth level spell slide, you can assume you get three... You can get three... <laughs> you can get three deaths. In what way is cat great superior undead actually... Creating superior undead. It's just worse. <laughs> All right. I think that'll do it for this one, everyone. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. These are so fun to make. Uh, so I hope you had as much fun as I did. Uh, let me know if this, this is the kind of thing you'd like to see more of in the future. I had a great time. But otherwise, just take care.